Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be fun to do a little what I read in a week video because I haven't done one of these in a long time. I haven't done one since I was in college still, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys how my life has changed, how my reading habits have changed, and kind of how I'm prioritizing reading while still working a nine to five. It is Sunday, so I've been prepping for the week. I just finished my meal prepping and it's 7.15 right now. So it's already later in the evening, but I haven't really picked up my book at all today. I've been pretty go, 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 which is kind of the opposite of most of my Sundays. I don't know why today was different, but it was but I did pick up this book last night this is Plum Tea Crazy by Laura Childs and guys this cover I'm so obsessed with it I think it's so beautiful this is a little mystery and honestly I just picked it up from the public library because I thought it was really cute and I don't get a ton of mysteries I got into them a little bit last year when I discovered cat mysteries so honestly I feel like I was looking for something around that vibe which this doesn't really seem to be that vibe but I don't know yet like I said I started it last night so I'm only 28 pages in to it right now but from what I can gather so far is that someone got shot while uh, watching the boat sail and I guess the sailing boats were like a big thing because they had like a whole party and I don't really know what is going on with the sailboats part of it but someone got shot and the two people that own this tea shop saw him get shot they are obviously gonna like try to investigate it but they also bring in like the detective they're also talking to him i don't really know how i'm feeling about it so far i'm not super crazy about it but i'm hoping it'll kind of pick up a little bit this is also like the 19th book in the series which i obviously have not read the first 18. this is giving me the vibes of like nancy drew in the sense that the main girl character kind of is playing detective but she's not the detective on the case and also nancy drew you don't have to like read them all in order you don't have to read them all in general so this was giving me that kind of vibe so I feel like I could pick it up anyway but even though I'm less than 30 pages into it I still feel like that was the right move but let's just keep reading and we'll see what I think about this. I feel like most of this reading vlog is probably going to take place in my bed so just get ready for that because I always read before I go to bed so I've been reading for a while now I'm on page 72 and not a ton has happened but I feel like that's kind of the way of most mysteries at least in the beginning because they're trying to build the suspense but right now it's not feeling like suspenseful I feel like that's the wrong word it's more of like just setting the scene still and like kind of getting to know the characters a little bit even though the main characters you're not really introduced to a ton you're more like introduced to a bunch of random like side characters that could end up being suspects it is already getting hard for me to attach characters to name like i can distinguish the different characters but if you asked me what their names were no idea absolutely no idea but hopefully we'll like kind of slow down on the introduction to the new characters that way it will like help me just remember what characters we have now actually read a lot today which i feel like is not normal for me but i was really in hi thank you but i was really in the mood to read and also there is something about mondays where i just wake up feeling like i can literally do anything and i'm so unbelievably productive on mondays it's actually insane so i am now on page 146 or chapter 16 i'm not crazy obsessed with it i'm gonna keep reading it because i'm enjoying it but i'm just not like in love with it it feels like a very low stakes mystery so i'm not super into it i'm just kind of vibing it out i guess for lack of better words i don't know how to describe that like i'm enjoying it but i'm not crazy into it like as soon as i put it down i forget about it and i feel like if it was more of a high high stake kind of book I would set it down and keep thinking about it but that might still change I'm gonna keep reading and we'll see I don't know if we've even chatted today at all because I've been so go 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 today that I have not read at all well I've read a tiny little bit just checked I've read all of six pages today so I have like 15 more minutes until I go to bed so I'm just gonna read until then but I'm probably not reading a ton today so I've read all of one chapter today so I don't have a ton to update you guys on but this is how I'm feeling about the book right now I am not super in love with it honestly I could stop reading it right now and like 
like I would not like I'd be really indifferent to it. I just feel like in a murder mystery I should feel like I want to finish the book. I should feel anticipation of knowing who committed the crime but I don't. It's also hard though because I don't feel like I want to DNF this book but it's also like why would I keep reading it when I don't really feel any feelings towards it. I don't know. I did it. I finished Plumpty Crazy. I know. Thank you. Only took me all week to finish, but I finished this last night because I was like, I need to get this over with, which is also part of why you have not heard from me in probably like two days. Well, maybe not. Whatever. It's Friday. And like I said, I finished this last night and you can probably tell that I was just not loving it. I ended up settling on a two and a half star, which is not horrible, but it basically just means I didn't absolutely hate it, but I also wouldn't recommend it because I kind of feel like the end was just like not realistic and almost rushed. Like I would have felt like it was more realistic if it wasn't so rushed towards the end, but I felt like the conclusion was like one chapter long, which I don't know. I feel like that might be fine for a thriller, but a mystery, it was like we did not wrap any up here. We like barely did a little slip knot. You know what I mean? Like we did not tie things up nicely. I just didn't love it. It was not for me. And now I am about to start a little life and truly I am scared. I'm scared that this is going to make me so sad that I like don't want to leave the apartment. I can't function anymore. I mean I don't foresee that happening but everyone says that this book is so intense. I just think it'll take me more than a couple days to finish this book. Let's see how many pages this is. Oh, 816 pages. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna take me a while. Very sorry if you can hear my washer dryer right now. You probably can because it's so loud, but it's now Sunday and Sundays are always my like chores, self-care slash breathing days. So my hair looks like this because I have a hair mask in right now. But I haven't been reading a ton. I think the last clip was me showing you guys that I'm starting a little life and I obviously did start it and I'm now on page 40. So I haven't read a ton of it and I feel like we're still in the part where we're introducing the characters and the storyline and there's actually so many characters in this book that I feel like right now it's still just character driven and basically the focus is still getting to know the characters and I could already see myself getting all of these people confused because like I said there's so many characters in this book but I'm still really enjoying it. I will say so far it's one of those books that I really have to focus on like you know when you read for me it's romance books you can kind of just vibe it out you don't have to really be paying super focused close attention to everything. This book I feel like is more of I'm really using my brain and I'm really focusing on the Is that noise? But like I was saying, I really just have to focus on this book and that's not a bad thing for me. It's just something to know if you don't like that. But I'm gonna read for a little bit and then shower and finish up my little self-care day. I just made it to part two of this book, which is page 97. And before I made it to this last chapter, I really was not understanding why people kept saying that this was a really sad book and also to like check the trigger warnings. Now that I've read that chapter though, I understand it. That was definitely a rough chapter to get through. And I can definitely see this book taking a darker turn in the future because of that chapter. I feel like that, that last chapter was definitely a little bit of a, what's the word? Like it had a lot of potential foreshadowing in that last chapter. And I say potential because it might be too obvious. I don't know. We'll just have to read and see. But I'm honestly feeling like I might need a little break after that chapter because I'm just the type of person that's, I'm highly sensitive and I feel like I just feel things very deeply. So reading about characters that are going through such 
hard, tragic stuff, I feel it in my soul. And I know I'm not the only one out there. I feel like that's part of why I love reading so much. I feel everything that these characters feel, especially when it's written in such a good way. Like her writing, if this was my book, I would probably be annotating it, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not my book. Beautiful, just really, it's really good so far. It is kind of slower, but I feel like I kind of expected that. I was going into this feeling like it would be more of a character focused book. I'm now on page 164 and I didn't really update before because I was pretty much feeling the same feelings as I've been saying, so I didn't want to repeat myself a million times. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it's now been a full week of me mood reading. I will update you all either in the comments or in my what I read in March video. Just depends on if I finish the book by the time this video comes out but I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!